Hello and welcome to this CNRL fast activity. Today we're going to make a pool noodle albatross, just like that. All right, we're gonna fly this in a minute, but first we're gonna make it. Uh, what you'll need is you'll need pool noodle, any pool noodle will do. Um, the ones that are hollow are a bit easier, but if you have a solid one, it should be fine. Uh, some tape, a knife, scissors, and some coins to add some weight in the front. All right, let's get started. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is cut our pool noodle to length. Now this is a hollow pool noodle, um, which will make it easier to cut, but this will still work if you have a, a solid one, it'll just be, you need a longer knife. Um, make sure you get a parent to help with this bit because we're using a, a knife, it can be dangerous. So I'm just gonna cut this, this is about 30, about 30 centimeters. Okay, so our wings are going to be um, cut out of this cardboard here, and we're gonna do them, uh, I'm gonna go about 15 centimeters uh, this way, and then they're gonna spread out. Now you can experiment with different sized wings, um, but what you do is you just mark it out. I'm gonna do quite small ones, uh, but they're just gonna come out like this, and then they're gonna come out like this and I'll just cut them out. All right, there we go. I might just tidy that up a little bit. And you wanna to try to get them as even as possible. You can fold it in half um, to make it more even. Um, but just don't cut it, don't cut it down here on one solid piece. All right, now we want to fit, we want to cut little slots in here um, to fit our wings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this here like this, about where I want it. Come right there. I'm just going to mark approximately there, and then I'm going to go around to the other side. And I'm going to mark approximately there. Now this should be um, easy for me because I've got a hollow one. You need a big knife to cut through this if you've got a shorter one. But what we want to do is cut through and slide down. Make a slot through there and here. Cut it down and you can see I've cut all the way through. The knife is very sharp. And now we'll, we'll, we'll put this through. So hopefully it fits. If it doesn't, we can just cut it a little bit more. Look at that. Very cool. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Um, next, I'm just gonna make a little, cut a little triangle in the back. And this will be for the, the, little, the little fin there. I'm just going to cut, cut a bit of a shape like that. I might go a little bit like that. And we're just going to slide it in the back. So I'll just get my knife again. And we'll just go cut it down like that. And now I can pop this in like that. Um, now you could try to fly it like this, but it'll it'll go all over the place. It needs some weight in the front to balance it out and make it fly uh, steadier through the air and direct, give it more direction. Um, so we're just going to put a few coins in the front. I find 50 cents or 20 cents works quite well. You can try it out with one um, and then add more if you think it needs it. So I'm just going to put one in. I'm just going to tape it in there so hopefully it doesn't fall out when we throw it. There we go. And that looks about ready for, to fly. And I'm just gonna take, um, I've got a few different designs. I'm gonna take them down to the oval and um, throw them and see which one flies better. All right, 
So as you can see, when they flew, they were flying around all over the place. So I'm gonna try again, and this time I'm gonna put a few more coins, add a bit more weight to the front, and see how that goes. Okay, so I found, um, with a few modifications, I added a bit more weight to the front, and I cut these wings a bit shorter, and I put little tabs at the back. Now these tabs push down on the back of the aircraft and make the nose lift up. So I just cut little notches in, and um, yeah, it seemed to fly better. Let's see how it goes. Okay, thanks for joining us. That was lots of fun. I got some great footage. Um, I'll see you in the next one. In our next workshop, we'll be making water tornadoes. In order to make this, you will need water, a plastic bottle, some glitter, and some paper. We'll see you then.